even sometimes now of like finding it hard to get out of bed and just showering being the achievement and your parents being like well done and you're like <laughs> oh <laughs> like, knowing that this is not where you want to be but it's okay like day by day hello Rito. hello hello priya how are you guys thank you how thank are you, you doing Good, good. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I love the film so much. It was incredible. I think it's safe to say it's, it's one of the best of the year and, and one of the most original films of the year. Um, Rito, you've been working with, you've worked with Nita Manzur for, uh, before on Lady Parts the Shorts. Um, what was it like for you to rejoin her on this project, uh, given the material? And Priya, what was it like to work with her for the first time? The question makes me emotional, actually, because we were talking about this yesterday, weren't we? Mm. But um, how, like I, when I auditioned for Lady Parts, it was just this for a YouTube blab, but I still feel like nothing has meant more to me than getting that part. Like how I worked so hard and I cried so much when I got that call, just because I knew it was so much bigger than what it was. I knew I just was, such an advocate for Nida, I just felt really connected to what she wants to do. And so when I got that part, I just felt like this is something bigger than me. And I feel like that's let what has led to this, you know? And I've loved working with her. I think that um, it's just like a pinch me moment. Like it's a dream come true. I had the best time and yeah like words can't explain basically how grateful I am to get to have worked with her this much and it's kind of yeah it's meant everything to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I think um you know there are some people that you work with and you're like this is it this is really special and this person is really special and what they've developed is Again, it's big, it feels bigger than me. Like, I've not seen this before. This is so original, it's so fresh. That, um, I just, I feel so lucky to have to work with incredible women, women that have taught me so much that continue to give me space and make me feel empowered. Um, as an actor, as a person, like to, you know, I when you get to go to set every day and you laugh every day and it's like, I'm just working with my sisters. It's, just, it's like as simple as that. And when, you know, when you get a script and you're like, I've never read anything like this. Like, why, why haven't I read anything like this? Like <laughs> more stuff like this that makes me laugh and shocks me at every page and gets me this excited. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I feel so grateful. Nither is an incredible, incredible director, writer, but just also just an incredible person. So I think, yeah, we're just, we're just having the best time. <laughs> it really shows. I saw the film at Sundance at the midnight premiere, and it was just an incredible experience. I think the crowd really loved it, too. Um, and Pakistani culture is so much a part of this film <laughs> and with your characters, um, and it plays, like, such a crucial role. So what? how did you approach your characters within the context of your own cultural experiences growing up? I feel like there's so many similarities, right? Um, like the South Asian culture obviously there are differences as well within it and between like faith or even country or like places in, in, within that but so many of our values and so many of the ways that we like kind of go through life are really similar our family values um how we respect our elders you know some of the the expectations and the pressure our communities kind of place on women as well feel very very similar so actually I felt really lucky that there was so much to draw from within my own life experiences but then also to have to work on a set with so many other South Asian people, um, to work with Nida and Ritu and Shobu and Jeff and all of these people that could give their own and and like I could learn from them and kind of draw anything that was different, I could kind of take from them as well. So it was really fun to kind of um, see how we could do that. Yeah, see that process, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so much of it feels familiar and mm. I've, in that case, it was very cathartic, of course, yeah. you know, growing up and not having much representation at all on screen and feeling like that being a huge, you know, first of all, reason why I wanted to get into it. And then 
it, these scripts don't come by often and the fact that this is here it's taken me so long to finally get to a script like this you know I've been acting for like 10 years and um I just think now to, I was like ah I get to to just bring what I've experienced you know whether that's you know being um yeah culturally forced to go to these south asian functions because <laughs> you're doing being told and having to kind of be like polite and kind and, and inside being like i just want to go home and eat mars bars in bed or like yeah just the the themes of like just breaking societal norms and you know the whole mummy's boy kind of vibe <laughs> there's so much that rings true to like the culture um but also just like that period of time or even sometimes now of like finding it hard to get out of bed and just showering being the achievement and your parents being like well done yeah. and you're like oh <laughs> like, knowing that this is not where you want to be but it's okay like day by day and and going through that journey has all been so familiar and, and cathartic to play and your character's relationships is at the heart of the film you have such a great rapport on screen how did you go about kind of building that chemistry was it automatic did you hang out a lot off set how did that happen because you have just a great sister bond on screen and it really shows yeah we I feel like we've just been so lucky like I feel we didn't get to have like a chemistry read together we kind of we met each other after we were both cast and so um I think there was a lot of nervousness walking into that first rehearsal together because I remember being like oh my gosh this is like truly the heart of the story and 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 wanting to feel like it was important to me that we had a good relationship but Ritu came and she gave me a present in our first rehearsal and we also just like hit it off straight away it was so easy like it didn't feel like work at all like we feel like sisters now like we'll poke fun at each other the, we'll laugh at random things we feel like we have it jokes and we're just here having a great time like, um and like I can lean on her and feel supported and cared for by her and I hope that she feels the same me but like you know it's just it felt really easy I think we hung out a couple of times right yeah we hung out a, a bunch and mm. but like it genuinely was just we clicked right away and I think mm. that's like yeah I mean I just love Priya so much I think that she's such a beam of light and so it's just easy and yeah we 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 honestly sometimes you just click right and I think that because there isn't that much stuff out there for South Asians or hasn't been that with those fewer opportunities I feel like there's been this thing in the past of like people feeling like they sort of have to compete with one another mm -hmm. because there's so few opportunities or whatever and like that's just not the way to go like yeah. there's so much more like I don't know power in love like you're it, we are all on this own journey and I think we both have that same mentality of just like it's just about love yes yeah, and Marjorie, yes. yeah yes. and I think that that's what was so amazing about um, Priya, that it just felt like we came together, sisters, we're each other's cheerleaders, and like, we're just rooting for each other. Yeah. And um, yeah, that felt special. And I hope that we just see more and more of that going forward. My final question is, had you seen the film Dev does before you realized that you were gonna have to do a dance scene for the film? from that Bollywood film. I remember watching Live That's when I was little. I it's grew up so with, good. <laughs> like, you know, I remember like on Sunday afternoons, like lazy afternoons, we'll come back and my mom would put a Bollywood film on. I know I shouldn't say this as well, but do you remember when you used to get the old DVDs that were like definitely the DVDs <laughs> that, that would have the Bollywood films? Because you couldn't find them that much in this country. And so, <laughs> You know, and we used to listen to like Sunrise Radio in the morning and like listen to like old school jams and watching the that's when I was little. I remember watching films like that and being enchanted and being like, I want to be that mesmerizing. I want to be an actor. I want to do those things. And so for me doing that, that dance sequence, I, I literally went up to Nither. I think it was that day or the day after being like, you literally made my dreams come true. Like, this is insane. I've never in a million years thought that I get to do like a Bollywood dance scene and 
go full on all out but also insane at it I know <laughs> it's like how did she just nail every single skill she no. can just dance <laughs> she can act she can do action it's like <laughs> Awesome. It was just so fun. And also to add that rear twist as well, just made it even more fun. Yeah. Like you get to put our own little something onto it and make it like slightly wide and crazy, which personally yeah. light up my streets. <laughs> that was just the best. <laughs> I loved it so much. It was fabulous. Well, th- that's all the time that I have. Thank you so much. And congratulations again on the film. It's fabulous. And I hope that you uh, have a great rest of your, you know, press tour journey. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You so much. Thank Bye. You.